Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. This is one that I have like been wanting to do for a while and I finally just kind of did the shopping and I've decided why not, I'll just go ahead and try it. So I like to watch videos of like Shein hauls or Wish fashion hauls or like things like that, like buying stuff from the websites that are really cheap and seeing like what kind of quality you get and if it's actually decent, like that kind of thing. Because if I can find things nice for a cheaper price, that's perfect to me. So I did need some new like summer kind of stuff. Uh, so I decided I'd just go on Shein and place an order, uh, which is what I've done. I've mostly gotten tops. I think I've gotten one pair of shorts. <laughs> you can see the kitty. So if you don't know, Shein is a Chinese website um, with lots of really, really cute clothing on it for a really, really cheap price and usually on sale on top of the cheap price already. And when I finished my order and went to purchase it, I even got a further discount with like the honey thing. So it ended up being like, pretty good I got seven things um, which is not bad so I will tell you what each thing costs because I pulled up the email um, with my order confirmation and everything in it so I'm really excited I hope I hope I hope I hope these are nice so yeah I'm just gonna go ahead and get started because I've not opened the package and I got it this morning and I've been waiting all day to find out if these things are good so we're gonna look at them we're gonna try them on and we're gonna see how we feel before I get into all this there's one more thing that I want to mention I am trying to this year wear things that are outside of my comfort zone and pick things that I wouldn't normally pick just to, you know, like maybe I will like it and the point is to just like step out and, you know, try something new. So the point of all of these was to pick things that I wouldn't normally pick, which I think I have done pretty well on this because some of this stuff I don't think I would like ever try usually. So with that being said, let's, let's pick something. Should I pick it out one by one? Okay. I didn't even look. Okay, they come in this cute little um, bag that just says Shein. Oh, that's upside down. You can't see it. This is this is a white ribbed cropped T-shirt with this little like half zip on it. It actually feels really like thick and stretchy. My only worry with this was that it was going to be see-through, um, which I have a like black bralette on right now, so maybe I should change that. Anyway, the zip seems like a decent quality zip. Like this feels really sturdy, like, and it's super stretchy, like a really thick material too. Okay, so this was $11.99 on Wish, and I got it in a small. I got everything in a size small, I think. Yeah, everything in a size small or a size eight, which I watched other videos after I placed this order, and a lot of them were saying check the sizing like in the reviews before you order. But I didn't do any of that, so yeah, we're just gonna hope hope everything fits. So I'm gonna go ahead and try this on. Okay, so here's the top on. Um, I'm actually kind of loving it. I don't think it's see-through. I mean, it might be a little bit, but I can't tell just like looking at the camera. I'll have to look in the mirror. It is like probably the right size. I definitely think like it's meant to be cropped obviously I've got the zip all the way down but you could you know put it here if you want the only thing I did really like was when I first put it on the collar was kind of up like that and I don't really like this but I think if I just kind of turn the collar down a little bit it'll kind of stay more in place like out so there's that I kind of love this I think I feel like I'm most likely gonna keep it the sleeves are just slightly tight but not enough to like make me not like it yeah, I definitely think the small was the right size on this one. And yeah, just stretchy and it's actually really soft inside. The only thing is this tag is bugging me, but I hate tags in shirts anyway. Like I almost always cut them out. So that's gonna go. But I think the first one's a I can't speak. I think the first one is a success. Let's move on and grab something else from the bag. I'm kind of enjoying this like grabbing and not knowing what to pick. This one. What is this? I can't remember what this is. I actually really love these little bags that they come in. Wait, I just, I thought I just opened that. There we go. Okay, this is a little like burnt orange crop top. This is definitely a lot thinner than the top I currently have on, but not like terribly, th I mean, not too terribly thin, but it's definitely just not, not as thick. Like it's a softer, more silky kind of material, which is fine because it's just different style. Um, like overall, the quality looks, looks nice so I'm gonna, I'm gonna get this on 
Okay, top number two I'm kind of loving as well. The color I think is really pretty and it's not as thin feeling as like once I have it on. Um, it's this really nice like racerback kind of style. Obviously I probably wear a different bra with this just because of like the straps but overall like it's not itchy it's really soft like it's very light so, like I feel like it'd be good in the summer when it's hot and this is also in a size small I feel like it's a little bit smaller than the last one that I tried on like the seams just don't stretch quite as much but that's not such a big deal and this was three pounds 20 which I mean I think is great so definitely think I'm gonna be keeping this one too this is going great so far. On to the next thing, which is, ooh! Ooh, I'm excited for this one. This is one of my favorites, I think, that I picked out on the website. So this one is kind of similar to the first one I tried on. Um, the ribs, like, they're a little bit bigger, the rib material. Um, stretchy, this is gonna be a little bit more see-through, I feel like. Um, it's just got the, like, tank top kind of sleeves. Still the same like half zip sort of thing, but it's got the black lines around the outside. And this one looked really, really cute on the website. This was probably like, if I had to pick a favorite from the website, it would probably have been this one. Um, so I'm hoping it'll look just as good like on. This one is definitely not as thick as the first one that I tried on, so it's a tiny bit see-through, but I kind of feel like you could still get away with it. Maybe, maybe not. It's kind of hard to see looking in the camera. Um, it just depends on what kind of bra you want to wear underneath it. Like you could wear like a black cute one with have like a little bit of the lace like coming through here and that could look a little bit like intentional, do you know what I mean? Um, but overall I do, I do like it. Like I think it's very cute. The same thing on this one, like I don't like how the collar first goes like up like this. I don't know, I just think it feels weird. Um, so I'm definitely going to turn the collar down. But that's what it looks like in the back. And yeah, I think this is really, really nice. Probably like, it's definitely not as good quality as a couple of the other things, but I wouldn't say it's like terrible quality by any means. And this one was, where are you? This one was 9.19. So, I mean, less than 10 pounds. You kind of like, I feel like you can't really complain too much because it is cute and it's not completely see-through and yeah. So I think I'm gonna be keeping this one too. On to the next thing, what have we got next? It's one of the things I'm like kind of nervous about, so I almost don't wanna grab that one yet. Ooh, polka dot. So this is just like a spaghetti strap cropped tank top with like a, I think it's like a scalloped edge. I think that's what that's called. It looks kind of big, like it looks wide for a small, I think, and this material is pretty thin, like I can see through it. Um, so yeah, not sure about this one. It's actually a little bit more cropped than I thought it was gonna be too, um, but we'll try it on, we'll see how it goes. So let's put this on. Okay, first thoughts of this one, it's definitely like the cheapest feeling one so far, like fabric wise and just kind of in terms of like, quality like this cut on the fabric here there's no like you know like a hem or uh, I don't know what it's called but like there's nothing to stop this fabric from just kind of like fraying over time um but overall I think it's very cute I did have to tighten the straps a little bit because it was kind of big like you can't see it was kind of big like here which the straps could do with being tightened just a little bit more um but overall like I think it's really cute and despite like it being the least nice quality out of the stuff so far I still don't think it's like horrible like this fabric doesn't feel bad on my skin and I don't like stuff that's too rough um so it's just really uncomfortable for me but I think this is super super cute and it was let me find the price this was four pounds so to me for four pounds this is not too bad I think we only have like three things left and I almost don't want this to end what is this it is black Oh, I think I know. I remember what this is. Oh no, I was wrong. This is something else. There was two black things I ordered. Two, I think. This is a pair of shorts, which I just thought, why not try them? Because, like, they were there. And see, so, yeah, it's just this black pair of like stretchy, kind of like athletic 
workout shorts with the little white detail all the way around it. Let's get these on and see how they fit. Okay, these shorts are like super high-waisted um, and kind of short, so I don't think I would be wearing them actually out of the house, but for like a loungy in the house shorts, they're not too bad. Okay, so these are the shorts and my belly button is like here and the shorts come up to like here, so they're super, super high-waisted. Um, I mean, overall, they're not bad. They're kind of a thin material, but I mean, they're shorts, they're just athletic shorts. They are fairly short in the back, so probably not gonna be wearing them out of the house, but I think I will keep them just for like loungy shorts sake, if that makes sense. I forgot to say, these shorts were four pound 36. Okay, we have two more tops left, so let's see. Next. I don't want the one I'm nervous for to be next. Ah, it's the one I'm nervous for. Yep. This is probably the one that is outside of my comfort zone the most. Like, 100% the most outside of my comfort zone. So, it is this long sleeve cream colored top and it just has a tie right here. Like, like that. That is it. That is it. So, the point of this was to get things out of my comfort zone, which I did. This is hugely out of my comfort zone, but we're gonna try it on, see what I think. Maybe I can wear like sticky tape, like boob tape, like can I say boob on YouTube? Like boob tape to stick it to me, and then like when the wind blows, it wouldn't be like, woo, hi everybody. Right, okay, we're gonna, we're gonna try this on. Okay, we've got it on, and I've put a little like peach colored uh, bralette on underneath it. I think the point is that you wear it without one, because then you can see it, but I don't know if this is really for me. Um, I mean, it's cute, but I feel like I would be really uncomfortable wearing this outside of the house. Just like self-conscious of it, like moving all the time. Um, overall, like in terms of the quality, the quality is not bad. These arms are kind of tight on me and like constricting in the elbow kind of area. So I don't like that about it, um, which would kind of make me not want to wear it because I don't like things that squeeze too much on my arms and my shoulders. I just feel like I can't move. Um, but yeah, quality wise, not bad. Not, not bad. I just, I just don't know if this is for me. Like this might be way too far out of my comfort zone. You know, there's like going outside your comfort zone kind of thing and you know, feeling better and like feeling confident, feeling good. This might be like way outside my comfort zone. So this is the first one that I'm like, I maybe won't keep this. Not just because of like, it might just not be me, but just because of the sleeves and stuff too. Like I don't really care for how tight they are. Um, but if like, this is your style and this is what you're, you know, into, then I mean, give it a try. It was only, where's my phone? It was only £6.79. So if you like it, I say go for it. I think we are on the final item now, which I'm kind of sad about because I also don't want this to end. Yes, that is the bag empty now. Right, this, I know it's this, and I'm kind of excited for it. So it's just this strapless um, crop top, basically, with sort of like a sweetheart neckline. It's kind of hard to show you while I'm holding it up, but you'll see it when it's on. And it is a um, ribbed material. Kind of stretchy, bit see-through, hello. Um, <laughs> Um, so yeah, this, I've never had anything like completely strapless before, like, never. So this is quite a step outside of my comfort zone and I really kind of hope it fits because I think it looks super cute on other people. Um, so I'm hoping it looks really cute on me. <laughs> Let's find out. Okay, here it is on. It is too big for me. Um, like it's not staying up very well and it just doesn't feel like tight how I would imagine a top like this should feel. Um, so definitely would have to go a smaller size on it. I don't know if I will or not, I might just return it. Um, but yeah, this is just a bit big. I just feel like if I make too like much movement, it's just gonna fall down. I do think it is cute though, um, but I don't know. It just might, it's, I don't know, I'm not like obsessed with it kind of thing. Um, it does have a really cute neckline, like I like this. And the other thing I noticed was like the bottom hem here, again, it's just like a cut off piece of fabric. There's, it's not like finished. So the top here, you can kind of see, I don't know if you can see, but there's like 
the finished bit. It's got like the piece of fabric over where the other fabric was. Um, I can't think of what that's called now. It's really bugging me. But the bottom doesn't have that. Um, so yeah, it just doesn't feel like super finished to me. And this is probably like the least good quality. I think this was like three pounds or something. Where's my phone again? This is three pounds 20. This I was like kind of excited and hoping this would be nice, but I don't think I'm gonna keep this. I wouldn't say I like love it. I like the style, but just not this one itself. Okay, so that is everything that I ordered. Um, I definitely would call this a successful shopping. Like keeping five out of seven things is not bad to me. Um, and I was pretty impressed with like the things that I am keeping. So like overall, I would shop on there again. Like I would go back and buy more stuff. Um, from Shein, definitely. So if you guys enjoyed this, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Let me know what your favorite thing was in the comments. And if you're not subscribed, be sure to go ahead and do that. And I will see you guys next time. Bye. Oh, and everything will be linked in the description if I can still find it. Mm -hmm.